As a recent high school graduate, the lack of knowledge peers my age have about basic household income is becoming immensely clear. A lot of students will end up with outstanding credit card debt, student loan debt, and living paycheck to paycheck, not being able to save up for retirement. This issue has called a, has caused a financial crisis all across America. One solution to this issue is to incorporate basic household and personal finance classes in the high school's curriculum. You may be thinking, hey, I've already took economics in high school, but did it help you? In fact, only 14 states require personal finance education before graduation, according to Herb Scribner, an article on Axios.com published June 8, 2022. Studies have shown the growing need for personal finance education in multiple ways. More than 20% of renters age 18 to 24 overspent their income by $100 per month, according to Time Magazine. 26% of adults admit to not paying their bills on time. And that's from National Foundation for Credit Counseling.com. And the average debt of students when they graduate from college rose from $18,550 in 2004 to $28,950 in 2014, an increase of 56%. And that statistic is coming from the Institute for College Access and Success. The graph you're looking at here is the historic total of national student loan debt in trillions of dollars. You can see it rises from 06, it was $520 billion up to the last date, which is 2021, at $1.73 trillion. As you can see, there's a steady rise in the amount of debt collected of students across America. This increase of overspending is not a product of a new generation, but a product of a lack of education. And how can we fix this issue, or try our best to fix this issue? While personal finance classes won't stop this issue, it can play a huge role in helping people build good habits, save for emergencies like a car crash or an injury, or keep them from making financial mistakes that could hurt them in the future. In a study conducted in 2018 by Montana State University with Christina Stodard and Carly Urban, found that students who received financial literacy education were most likely to take out low interest federal loans to pay for college. And while they tended to borrow more federal money, they also worked fewer hours, had higher college persistent rates, and were more likely to graduate. Not to mention, mandated financial education could help break students with low income households break their generational poverty. In a time like this, facing the economic effects of a global pandemic, record numbers of people have filed for unemployment. Personal finance education is more important than ever. I hope I have brought this issue to y'all's attention. Do what you can to educate yourself and fight for the others who can't. Thank you for allowing me to talk today. Have a great rest of the J term.